what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A North Texas teenager who falsely claimed she was kidnapped and raped by three black men will not face any jail time. On Thursday, 19-year-old Brianna Harmon of Pottsboro pleaded guilty to four felony charges of tampering with physical evidence and government documents in relation to false reports of kidnapping and sexual assault. Harmon will be sentenced March 20. Her plea deal has two possible punishments, regular probation or deferred adjudication, which often involves fulfilling a requirement such as treatment or community service. Neither involves jail time. On March 8, 2017, Harmon was reported missing to the Denison Police Department after witnesses noticed the door to her vehicle was open and personal items, including a phone and keys, scattered on the ground. A few hours later, Harmon walked into a church wearing only a shirt, bra, and underwear. She said that she had been kidnapped by three black males wearing ski masks. This is according to the Sherman Herald Democrat. Harmon claimed the men assaulted her and that she was raped by two men while a third man held her down. Investigators noticed inconsistencies in Harmon's story within a few days. Medical workers were unable to find any evidence of rape and the holes in the blue jeans that was found at the alleged crime scene didn't match Harmon's injuries. At that point, two weeks later, Harmon broke down and told the police that she made the whole thing up. She made up the rape, including the self-inflicted wounds. She said that she did all of this because she had a fight with her fiance and she didn't want her family to be mad at her. That is some cold-blooded Shit! Do you know what type of person you have to be to conjure up a story like that where you put people's lives in peril? You put their freedom on the line. And with, I mean, with no conscience. No conscience whatsoever. All because she didn't want her people mad at her. Somebody could have been killed over that, those allegations, false allegations. People could have had their freedoms taken away. And look, this happens all the time. I'm not making this up. This, we got a history of it, right? Where white woman claim rape, black man is automatically presumed guilty. And in many cases, years ago, he was not even tried convicted and lynched within an hour of a white woman just making an accusation. Sometimes it was like, oh, he looked at me. He talked back. Oh, man. Man, God bless my ancestors, man. Boy, they was put through some shit. That's cold-blooded. And then this just reminds me of Emmett Till when the white lady lied on him and she finally confessed right before she died. And y'all saw what happened to Emmett Till. Do you know how many black men, I have no idea, but I'm, I think it's safe to bet that there have been tens of thousands of black men throughout the years in America who were innocent of charges against them, alleged rape charges, and they were just railroaded in the system and had to go do that time or was murdered. So somebody could be that petty to where they put somebody's freedom and their life on the line just so that somebody else won't be mad at them. Damn. 
God couldn't have made her, man. She cannot be made of God. She could not even be made of woman. That's some type of evil spirit, man. Something vomited her out. She is an abomination. Man, that's cold-blooded. I'm glad those dudes, uh, whoever those dudes, I'm, I'm glad they didn't just go pick up three black dudes and lock them up. That would have really been messed up, man, because that happens all the time. I bet you she could have just, if she could have just pointed one of them, one person out, just said, that's him. They would have took her word over his. All of that DNA stuff, that wouldn't even matter. He would have had to get some extra help years later. He probably would have to end up doing 30 years in jail before they did a DNA test because they would have just taken her word over his, especially in a little small town like the one she's from. Man, you know what the racial makeup is. You out of here. That's cold-blooded, man. Brianna. Boy, you dirty. You dirty. Man, it's time for that to stop, though, man. It's time for American society to stop giving in particular, man, because I, I ain't picking on white women, man, but this, this y'all got a history of this shit. It's time for American society to stop automatically taking the side of a white woman when she accused a black man of raping her. That, that It's time for that. In fact, it since it's so many of them that lie about it, it's time to start uh giving the black man the benefit of the doubt that, oh, you know what? He probably didn't. You know, she's probably, you need to start now that she's probably lying. You see how that works? So you have these women that are, that are victimized and you don't know whether to believe them because you have these other ones out here, these animals out here who just lie and make up stuff. And so you don't know what to believe. This is another reason why that is so dangerous. And people are so quick to believe the narrative that the poor little innocent white girl was raped by the big bad boogeyman black man. They're so quick to jump on that. They don't need facts. They don't need no kind of evidence. They don't need witness. They don't need nothing. All they need is an accusation and they're going to run with it. Damn, that's cold, man. Brianna Harmon, look here, man. For what you did, your punishment should have been death. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.